Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a puzzle called Notice, which is basically, it's called the Celtic Knot Conundrum, and it's going to, you're going to be making a puzzle here with this. Now this is the second game I've actually played from this company, the Nautiverse. Um, the last one was a game, this one's more of a puzzle, but I was really fascinated with the beauty of this puzzle. Let's take a look. So this is a puzzle, as I said, that's going to come with various pieces here. Now these are in light blue, but there's also a dark blue set. And there is a way to combine the two different color sets. And you can see on the back of the, the book here, there's all different multi-color sets here. And I think that looks gorgeous. I didn't have a chance to combine the two sets, but I saw the two sets combined at a convention and they were just gorgeous. But there's different pieces here. So you'll get a puzzle. So we'll take the easiest puzzle here. It says take these four corner pieces. So one, two, actually it's the short corners. One, two, three, four. These four pieces here. And then I have to put them together in a grid so that all the different ends connect. So looks like, there you go. See how easy that was? And it's really neat when you do it because you can see the rings being built. You have to follow and match the patterns but they don't particularly look like they fit here. Now you can see in the back, okay, that's a corner, but they get crazier and crazier when you see, look at this one here, there's a bunch of pieces and there is a ton of puzzles in here. Now there gets to be a certain point where you, the two color ones, you need two different sets. So there is a lot of the book that you can't use until you figure that out, but they do have the answers in the back and don't worry, this isn't spoiling anything, showing them to you unless you can somehow memorize this in your head. But they all look when you're done, you're like, well, yes, obviously that's how the thing goes together. But these are just neat. Uh, me and my son messed with this for a long time because it was just fun. He's imagining it, there are highways and stuff. And I just like the beauty of the knot, but that's how you play with this. There's a lot of these puzzles that are out there. This one, man, I have to say though, I think you're getting, you're getting, you're getting, it would be a disservice to say this is half the puzzle because that's not true. But you do get double the value if you add, get another color and putting the two colors together just looks fantastic. So there's obviously a lot of tradition with the Celtic knots and the different meanings of them. And like I said, this is just kind of a gorgeous looking thing. And when you're done with one of these, they look fantastic. They're pretty hard. Um, I found as you put them together, the first couple are pretty easy, but after that you're sitting there trying to figure out how the different pieces fit together, but there is a certain logic to putting them together also. Um, I like these a lot. Me and my son both enjoyed them. If you're a fan of puzzles, if you like things like rush hour and puzzles like that, this is a puzzle that's not just a puzzle, but also just looks really pretty. You can leave the set up on a coffee table, I think, and it would work really well. So that's notice. I'd give this one a seven out of 10, certainly worth your time taking a look at more so if you can get multiple colors, but even if you have just one, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.